So there is the boxer from Thailand, Fanawat Chujan at 17 years of age, preparing for his first bout of Kielce 2021. Received the bye in the first preliminary round. 26 boxers making up this particular weight class. And so we had a few contests in the round of 32 in the evening session on the 13th of April. Man just making his way into the ring. He's preparing for his second bout of this Aiba Youth World Championships for men and women. And that is Azrak Babirov. Tina Politan of Bosnia-Herzegovina is our referee. Oh, my goodness, now nah, that's a <laughs> bit of a false start because that was the bell from ring B, not ring A. Tina Politan didn't give the instruction, but that is the correct sound with the gong from our ringside position here. The lead left hook landed by the boxer in blue. He's the representative of Azerbaijan. That is Azrak Babirov, a compact quick-footed, quick-fisted boxer who produced a very good display indeed to, to eliminate the man from Kyrgyzstan. To progress here through to the round of 16. His opponent, wearing red, who's just flying a speculative left hand out of that southpaw stance, Fanawat Chujan At. This is his first bout of Kielce 2021 for the 17-year-old. So contrasting methods and evidence here with the two men going about their work. Or more languid with his movement is the southpaw wearing red. And look at the quick twitching movements of the boxer in blue, edging his way forward. Again, that's one of the beautiful things about the sport of boxing. Is that the skill set of hitting and the art of not being hit, it can be interpreted in so many ways as Chujan At switching his feet in the neutral corner just above our commentary position. So often those skill sets dictated by physical attributes and personality as well. Even though there is a textbook, it's like music, the manner in which those notes are interpreted that determines what type of artist you're going to get. So too the case in boxing. We've got boxers who go about their work in markedly different ways and are in action here. Chujan At looking to lure his man in. There's a quick-footed attack as he continues to switch between orthodox and southpaw, currently operating as a lefty. And with Babirov pinning him to the ropes, he did get through with a hard right hand to the body. Chujan At just walking his man out to the space of centre ring. So, closing seconds of the opening round. The frenetic exchange with the boxers on the perimeter of the ring. <laughs> so we had a false start and a premature finish during the course of that opening round. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Round two. So into the second round we go. As Rak Babirov continually stalking his man. Hard right hand dug into the body when Chujan At was trying to spin off. Birov comes in here as the national championship silver medalist. The championships held in Azerbaijan last year. Hard left hand dug into the body, may have been partially blocked by the arm of Chujan At. Now Chujan At planting his feet momentarily, then letting and letting clusters of punches go, but he hasn't been very accurate for any consistent period of time. Again, launching a left hand, that's off the mark. Spins beyond punching distance. There's plenty of activity, but not much effective scoring through this portion of the second round from Chujan At. Counter left hand wasn't too far away from the man in red. Neither boxer, well, they finally did of their own accord, or their, at their own timing, rather, heed the command of break. There's a counter left right combination out of the south poor stance from Chujan At. Looking for the same combination and success with it once again. But then look at the response that brings about from Babirov. Two boxers. Tumbling to the canvas in the neutral corner. So closing seconds of the second round. Shujan at looking to score with that counter combination that served him well, but he's been crowded in his own corner. Babirov looking to get busy with his hands. Again, not much accuracy from, accuracy from the man in blue during the course. That aggressive burst forward either. Second out, please. Round three. So we're going to the third and final round then. Chu Jan at. And he had pockets of sporadic success in round number two, particularly with a one two combination out of the South Force stance. wasn't consistent enough and there wasn't enough of it from my vantage point here ringside looking for a hard lead right hook but it was off the mark physical at close quarters neither man working away both of them holding on 
Again, winging in that speculative right hook was countered by a right uppercut from Babirov. Good punch variety, Chu Jan at. Not really looking to establish a jab from either stance. You see a flashy lead right uppercut. Partially blocked by Babirov. Again, lead right hook not setting up his offense. Looking for the power shot. Almost each and every initiation of an attack. Same thing once again. Swing and a miss from Chu Jan At. And looks as though he's going looking to take his man out with one single shot. Not setting up everything, anything, not varying the speed or power of his work. Everything's a full-blooded launch here in the third and final round. Same thing from the backhand. And Babirov is finding this rather easy to read. Right hand got through after the left hook was off the mark from Babirov. Solid left hand landed by Chujan at on the resumption. Right hand landed with the inside of the glove by Babirov. Again, big swing and a miss from Chujan hat is, is countered. The right hand to the body. Now plenty of desire, plenty of commitment from Chujan at in pursuit of victory here. But he hasn't really found the accuracy or indeed the volume of punches in this contest really trouble Babirov. It's Babirov trying to step on the gas at the sound of the 10-second clapper. Terrific activity from the man in blue just to stamp his authority on this contest and leave absolutely no doubt that he was the better boxer up there on this fifth day of ac action. Some of the action from the final round. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by unanimous decision is the boxer from the Blue corner, Azrak Babirov, Azerbaijan. So Azrak Babirov of Azerbaijan goes through to the quarterfinals with a unanimous points decision victory over his opponent from Thailand, Fanuat Chujan At. Plenty of desire, plenty of determination, but not the skill set to trouble the man from Azerbaijan. And it is Babirov who goes through to the last eight in the 56 kilogram bantamweight division.